Okay, so my name is Ben, and this is Sarah. Can we all say hi, Sarah? Hi, Sarah. We're from the Vernon County Land and Water Conservation Department. Who remembers what the theme was from last year? Last year? Yes? Insects. Insects, that's part of it. Life cycle, I think we did touch on that. Healthy soils are full of life, right? Good job. So we did talk about life cycles. We talked about the different insects that live in the soil. And any guesses what we're here to talk about today? No. That's a absolute. I feel like Spencer could give our presentation for us already. That's exactly right. This is what's called a watershed. So who knows what water is? Okay, maybe you've seen water or know someone who has seen water before, right? We're all on the same page. Okay, what about a shed? What do we do with a shed? We put things in it. We put things in it. So a watershed is where all of our water is stored. Where all of our water is... junk inside of it. That's right, junk inside of it. You have more to share. Exactly. So all the water, imagine this is like the high points, right? Kind of the ridge around an area. So all the rain that falls is going to come to the stream, to the lake, and eventually to the groundwater. But it's all part of one watershed. Imagine here, there's another watershed, right? It's not like, ah, he doesn't fall off a cliff. There'd be another whole separate watershed. You could have another house right here. You'd be neighbors, right? But you'd be in separate watersheds. Everything here would flow to a different river somewhere else. Can we give this lake a name? Who has a favorite lake we want to give a name to? Lake Lemon. Lake Lemon? <laughs> Sounds good. Lake Lemon? Lake Lemon? How about Sidey Hollow? Has anyone ever been to Sidey Hollow? That's a lake too, I had right? family pictures there. Yeah, family pictures at Sidey Hollow. So maybe we'll call this Sidey Hollow. Here we have a school. Here we have some houses. This is a factory. What do we have here? Like a, farm. a farm with the farm buildings, right? So let's imagine this is a watershed and this is a watershed, right? This is green, this is green. All the rain that falls here eventually goes where? Into the ground water. Whoops! Whoops! There's our ground water. So all of that water, just like here, all the water that went into there would be our ground water as well. Sarah tied that up for us. So imagine you take this water balloon out into your backyard and you throw this water balloon. <laughs> Did we trick you? Who thought they were about to get hit by a water balloon? Quite a few of you. Sorry. Oh, you can see it back here. I saw a teacher push a kid in front of the way too, right? Just to make sure they didn't get hit. No, that didn't really happen, right? Now I know you're all paying attention because I might throw stuff at you. No, that was just, but imagine you threw that water balloon out in your yard, right? We talked about this. It's all going to flow eventually to the stream, to the lake. Does water ever go uphill? Can water go uphill? Sometimes. I can't talk about Texas, but in general, we got this magical thing called gravity, right? Water's always going to go downhill, so we know that's what's happening. So we have a lot of things <clears throat> on our watershed here. Let's add a few more things. What's this? Cow. Has anyone ever seen a cow in the stream? No. Of course you've seen a cow. Yeah. You've never seen a cow in the stream? Maybe, maybe with his backside placed nicely into the stream there? That's too big. It's bigger than the barn. It's a pretty big cow. We'll put the horse, right? We'll put the horse on the farm. Pig. How about the puppy? Can the puppy go in a yard? Yes. Over here. Here's our farmer. Can we name the farmer? Farmer Joe. Yeah. We'll try to hold our conversations, but you guys are doing a great job raising your hand. Tractor, we need a tractor, don't we? That's right. And uh, a trout? Who likes to go trout fishing? Anyone? How about from the lake, and we'll head up the stream for spawning. That'll be fun. And a uh, duck, right? A duck would go like a turtle. A turtle would go like a turtle. Where, where? And who, who likes to go fishing? Me. Okay, we'll go fishing at Sidey Hollow here. Yeah.
And it's not really going into the groundwater, but it just works so well to drop it in like that. Oh, and then here's a boat landing, right? A dock, like the like the new dock we put in at Sidey Hollow. Okay, so I think we have. So what is this called again? A watershed. Watershed. Good. You guys are listening. Such great listeners here. Uh, does it look pretty clean? Pretty good? Yeah. Is our watershed always clean? No. There's real pollution. Things really can happen to make it dirty, right? So, what can come off of our farm field sometimes? Dirt. Raise your hand. Fertilizer. Fertilizer. We'll start. We'll get to fertilizer in just a second. Let's start with the soil. It's soil when it's where you want it to be. It's dirt when you don't want it to be there. Let's pretend this is where they're building new houses, okay? But they haven't planted anything. There's new houses. No new houses there. Do we have steep hills around here? Yeah. Yeah. Steep slopes and stuff, so we can lose soil off of there, too. Okay, let's get back to talking about Farmer Joe. Now, Spencer, has he put on just a little bit of fertilizer like a good farmer, or does he pile on way too much? He put a little. This is a good farmer. Most of our farmers do a really good job, right? Sometimes they go too heavy. Oh, put a lot on, Sarah. They love it. We're going to pretend this is a farmer who puts way too much on. This thing, you can really see it. Okay, uh, what might come out of the back end of this guy right here? <laughs> manure or manure? How about that? Something similar out of the, out of the puppy there? That's quite a pile of doggy doo doo there. For a, it's as big as the dog there, I think. Okay, what do we lose out of our vehicles sometimes? Yeah. And also, oil maybe, a little oil. Some leaking out of the factory there, possibly. Okay, so I think you guys see what's uh, what's lining up here, but what happens pretty frequently around here? Sarah, you're gonna make it, oh, forgot one thing. Does anyone ever throw garbage out their window? Have you seen it done? They litter. Sometimes, for some reason, they throw an entire pizza out <laughs> alongside the road. It can go into the stream. Okay, now Sarah's going to make it rain. That's right. Look at that go. Right into the stream. That factory goes. Look at our soil. Uh, it's raining really hard. It's raining here. for Ooh, some, some of you in the front. It's like a Gallagher concert or show. You get to okay. Um, okay. Has anyone ever has anyone ever experienced a flood? Raise your hand if you know what a flood is and have experienced one. All of us, right? We have a lot of floods around here, don't we? Now this is what happens when it floods, guys. Look at that! Oh, that pile of doggy doo doo. Oh, the factory. Whatever came out of that cow is going straight to the hollow. <laughs> Way too much fertilizer. Oh, oh finally dropped him over. It was so much flooding. Oh my goodness. The guy's still fishing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. It's, it's, it's polluted water. How would fish survive? Okay, guys. Well, that's a good question. And I know we're having fun here, but this is actually pretty sad, isn't it? Yeah. Is this, does this really happen? Is pollution really going on out there? Can this trout? Be healthy no. if its watershed's not healthy? No, no, no. Can the duck or the turtle be healthy no. if we don't have a healthy watershed? How about him? Is he going to have a good day of fishing if his no. watershed's not healthy? No. Probably not, right? Okay, die. and uh, and then remember where we said all this water ends up? Remember that water balloon too? Where does that end up? Our groundwater? And we all eventually get our... Now, does that look good enough to drink? Is that good enough to drink? That, that's not good enough to drink, is it? So now we have a dirty lake, a dirty river, dirty groundwater. Pretty sad. Does it, does it have to be this way? Or are there things we can do to make it better? Okay, let's start with this giant pile of doggy doo-doo. What can we do? Clean it up, right? We make sure we clean up after. How about this cow? Does he have to spend his whole life with his backside in the creek? Could we get him out on some good pasture, maybe some good fencing, right? Put up some good fencing and keep him. Do you have a suggestion? Like, have to put walls over by the factory, like gates. Okay, having things around the factory to help them. Um, yeah, they could build something so their wastewater is dealt with internally. Has anyone ever heard of a green roof? A green roof, or a, so you can plant that, and that's going to help absorb a lot of the water as well. How about all this garbage? What do we do with that? Clean it up. What else besides throwing it in the garbage can some of that... Recycle. Recycle and even compost, right guys? And that's yeah, that whole pizza someone wasted. So sad. It's really tragic what's going on here. 
What do you think about planting trees? Is that going to do anything for us? Yeah. Nice grass and nice trees. Maybe we'll plant that here. Where, we're, where else should the trees go? Over here. That's a key spot. That's a good point, right? You kind of pay attention on the landscape. Where is all this runoff happening? This would be an important bush, right? Shrub to help protect and act like a filter of our lake. Now, who here lives on a farm? Quite a few, good, good number. I saw a few My owns a farm. Does anyone know what a contour strip is? Contour strips were basically invented. What are they, pal? So they're planting, so instead of just having a whole field of corn, right, you plant strips of hay. So it would be like corn, hay, corn, hay, and a grass waterways as well. Can we put a grass waterway? And right, this would be the most important spot, right? We could put a little buffer, a little prairie strip, or a little hay strip. You put hay bales. I thought you were going to put houses. Well, I was just saying that this is where they're going to build houses. Oh. And, but it's, so it's all exposed dirt where it runs off of, right? But they haven't cut down the last tree. But yeah, well, hopefully they don't. Hopefully they plant trees before they do too much building. So again, these are contour strips. They're pretty much invented in Vernon County and make a really big difference. Now Sarah's going to make it rain again. And well, of course, what did we use for these trees and these contour strips? What did we use to represent those? Sponge. And there's a reason for that, right? Because that's really what these do. These act as a sponge to protect our environment. Yes. Right, and it is hard to deal with pollution that's already happened. It is very difficult. But a lot of what we're talking about here is how to stop it from continuing to happen. Okay, so now, do you guys live in a watershed? You all live in a watershed. Every single one of you, no matter where you live, you're in some kind of watershed. Can we get two really strong map holding uh, volunteers? You two boys right here? We want to show you. It's a pretty sweet map of Vernon County here, okay? So this is all of Vernon County. And think of these white lines here. You see these white lines? Imagine that's the same as that. They, a lot of times they are roads, because a lot of times they built roads on the top. But imagine those white lines are just like this, the high points around the watershed. So here's a watershed. The Coon Creek watershed. Here's the Bad Axe watershed. Do you see it there? This here is the west fork of the Kickapoo River. This is the middle Kickapoo River. So we have about eight different watersheds in Vernon County. Does anyone live in Viroqua? Does anyone here live in Viroqua? I used to. So notice how Viroqua is split in the middle, right? So this part of Viroqua is going to flow to the Kickapoo. This part of Roqua is going to flow to the Bad Axe River. And see here in Westby, it's kind of the same deal. Three different watersheds cut through Westby. All of this part of Westby is going to go to the Bad Axe River. All of this part of Westby is going to go to the Kickapoo. And all of this part of Westby is going to flow to the Coon Creek. Do you want to pick a couple volunteers? Should we mark where a couple of people live just so you can see what watershed you're in? Okay, where are you at, pal? Right on County T. County T is a really interesting one because depending on where on County T you live, it might flow to the Reeds Creek or it might flow to the Kickapoo. That's great. Did you pick a couple more, Sarah? County U U. He's got it. He found it. And as you noticed for us, a lot of times the roads follow right along the line of the watershed. Because that was the top, that was the ridge, and that's the easiest place to build, to build a road. Maybe just a couple more? So the Great River Road, all along the Mississippi. You know where the Mississippi is, Sarah? <laughs> uh, West coast of Vernon County? <laughs> so, yeah, it's 35. So that's probably, yep, by Genoa? It's a mile from Minnesota. 
So that, so there's probably, my guess is some of you are going to live in the Rush Creek watershed. I bet you a lot of you are in the Bad Axe River watershed. Where are you at, buddy? Old 35. Right in the soil. Right in the soil proper. Great. So that's Rush Creek watershed for sure. Okay, so remember we had you do a poster last year? Yeah. You think we want you to do a poster this year? No. Everyone's going to get a prize. Some of you could go on to get some bigger prizes. Can you boys hold that up as high as you can now? We're going to talk. Last year's theme was healthy soils. This year's watersheds are water our home. Can we all say that together? Watersheds are water our home. So remember, on your poster, we need that theme to show up somewhere. Beyond that, you can draw, color, design whatever you want to go on your poster. You could, you could try to represent where you live, what's happening in your watershed. You could talk about some of these different solutions or some of these problems, or both. Do you, yes? That would be a great idea, doing a map showing where pollution could happen, absolutely. Who thinks they were good enough to get a snack, to get a treat? Raise your hand if you don't think you should probably get a snack. No snack? No snack? Is that a no snack? You want a snack. Who likes cookies? Okay, everyone gets one cookie, and notice right on there, we have our theme. Watersheds, our water, our home was printed up on the cookies. You can eat that. It's made out of sugar. Sugar. It looks like paper, but it still tastes delicious. I have tried several out myself just to be sure. 